waiting in line to access cheap transport fares. From now on, only those holding this card will be able to continue benefiting from the government subsidies. I finally made it. I need this card because I'm retired. I cannot afford a regular fare, so I had to come in here and wait in line. But the wait can be a long one and under the hot summer sun. People here know that those who do not get the card will have to start paying 80 cents for a bus or subway ride. With a card, that same trip will cost half the price. These lines are at least a kilometer long as people here have to wait for hours to be able to get the card. For years, the Argentine population benefited from cheap utility services and transport fares. Now the government wants to subsidize only those who can prove that they are in need. Since the government began cutting back on subsidies, people in some areas have seen their bills rise almost 300 percent. Morena Abad travels by bus every day. She says she's worried because inflation and the subsidy cuts will make it more difficult to make ends meet. My card is still pending. I'm not sure what criteria they are applying so people get it or not. Nobody knows how much the tickets are going to cost for sure. Prices are going up in Argentina and now we have to get this new card. Argentina implemented the subsidy programs almost 10 years ago as a way to spur an economic recovery after the crisis in 2001. Economists say that the subsidies should have been removed a long time ago. The subsidies have been mismanaged. It was okay to maintain them after the crisis of 2001, but when Argentina started to recover, they should have started to allow prices to increase slowly. Now they're doing it all of a sudden, so it's going to be more difficult for people to adapt. And that's one of the reasons why people here continue to line up as the Argentine government is trying to save some money, many fear, about the consequences it will have on their daily lives. Teresa Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.